Before starting your exam on exam day, ensure you set your work area up as required, including connecting to a power source by plugging in your laptop or PC charger before your exam starts. Remove any unauthorized items from your work area. Complete the mandatory system test. Take a bathroom break before you start. You're only permitted to take one five-minute bathroom break once you've started your exam. We're continually making improvements to your remote exam experience. So, remember to re-watch this video before each time you sit a remote session exam to ensure you are up to date with the latest guidance and support. Access the exam planner, either from your MyACCA or ACCA Global. Familiarize yourself with our troubleshooting guidance page before you begin. Click Launch Exam. Your exam will only launch 30 minutes in advance of your scheduled exam start time. If you try to start your exam more than 30 minutes before or 15 minutes after your appointment time, your exam will not launch. You're about to enter into exam conditions after you click Launch Exam. Please ensure you comply with our exam rules and regulations from this point onwards. For regulatory requirements, we need to collect information on how you studied for your exam. You'll need to do this for every exam during each exam session. Identify your method of study. Select the country you studied in from the drop-down menu. Choose your learning provider from the drop-down menu. If your learning provider is not listed, please type their name into the other provider name field. Check the box if you completed your method of studies over four months ago. Click Save and Confirm. Before you start the check-in process, take a bathroom break. Click Check In. You're about to download the OnView exam software. However, you must first read and agree to the following statements on screen. Failure to meet these expectations will result in you being turned away from your exam or your exam may be revoked. The statements on screen are for illustration purposes only. The exact wording on OnView systems may change for this or future sessions. Please ensure as part of check-in that you regularly read the on-screen wording carefully. Once you've read and understood these statements, tick the box next to each one to confirm, then click next to move on. Other languages are available from the drop-down menu at the top of the page. Click copy access code, this is needed for the next step. Click download to run the OnView invigilation software. Your copied access code will be automatically populated. Click Next to continue. Confirm that you're 18 years of age or older. If you're under 18 years of age, your parent or guardian will have to be present for ID validation. If you're under 18 years of age, you must tick the correct button and follow the additional steps on screen. If you're taking your remote session exam in mainland China, you must be aged 18 years or over. On view will now check your equipment. Click Start Microphone Check. Speak clearly and loudly enough until the bar turns green. Next, click Start Speaker Check. If you can hear the music, click Yes. Lastly, click Start Webcam Check. If you can see yourself, then your webcam is working.
Click next to continue. OnView will now check your internet connection. Once this is complete, click next to continue. Enter your telephone number and click next. Please ensure this is entered correctly, as this is the number the invigilator will try to contact you on, should you encounter any technical issues during your exam. Now you'll be prompted to take photographs. You can do this with your webcam or your mobile phone. We recommend using your mobile phone. Option 1. Scan the QR code using the camera on your mobile device and complete check-in via your mobile web browser. Option 2. Enter your mobile telephone number, tick the I accept the terms and conditions box then press send. You'll then receive a URL link to complete check-in from your mobile web browser. Option 3. Enter the web address into your mobile web browser, then use your access code to complete check-in. If you don't have a mobile device, you can complete check-in using the webcam on your desktop computer. In this video, you'll learn how to check in using the QR code and your mobile web browser. Scan the QR code using the camera on your mobile device. After your mobile device detects the QR code, click the URL link or if using an Android select Open in Browser. After launching the Pearson View website, your homepage should look like this. Select Enter Access Code to manually enter your access code, or select Scan QR Code to scan the QR code on your computer screen. If you selected Enter Access Code, type this now into the box provided and click Continue. Now you will be asked to take photos using the camera on your mobile device. Click Continue. Click Take Front, then take a photo of your face using the camera on your mobile device. Make sure your face is within the oval. Your face must be in focus and well lit. Most importantly, your face must match your ID. Choose the identification type from the options available. If you're using a driving license, select driving license. If you're using a passport, select passport. And if you're using any other forms of ID, select other government photo ID. Choose your country from the drop-down and click continue. Click take front, then take a photo of your identification using the camera on your mobile device. Repeat this step for the back of your ID. Make sure the photo is clear and well lit. Your ID must be in English. Ensure you've completed the actions on screen to prepare your workspace before continuing. Remove any prohibited items from your workspace before continuing, including any scrap paper. No paper or pens are allowed on your desk. Take four pictures of your workspace. Click Take Front to begin. For your front photo, the whole workspace must be clearly visible and include the whole computer and the area around it. There must be no unauthorized items on your desk or within arm's reach. For your back photo, the invigilator must be able to see your desk, plus everything on the desk and the view behind, to ensure your setup meet the rules and regulations. For your left photo, the invigilator must see the whole workspace from the left side. It should include the computer, desk, and contents on the desk including any authorized items such as calculator or glass of water. For your right photo, the invigilator must see the whole workspace from the right side. It should include the computer, 
desk, and contents on the desk including any authorized items such as calculator or glass of water. Place your mobile phone on silent mode and out of arm's reach. Then return to your computer and click refresh to complete check-in. Read the testing rules agreement. We recommend you take a break before you check in. However, you can take one bathroom break of up to five minutes during the exam. Before doing so, use the chat function to advise the invigilator that you're leaving your desk to use the bathroom. You don't need to ask for permission, but you must inform the invigilator on your return. Remember, you must be visible to the camera at all times during your exam, and you must not talk out loud, which includes reading questions out loud. Confirm you understand your exam may be revoked if you break any of these rules by clicking the box on screen. Click next to continue. On view will now check for any applications open in the background. Click test. Having applications running in the background will prevent your exam from running, so it's important that these are closed and not minimized. If you have any applications open, you will receive a warning message. You must close these background applications before clicking resolve issues and retest. Watch our closing background applications video, available from our troubleshooting guidance page, for more support. If there are no more applications open, click next to continue. OnView will now check your system's video streaming capability. If OnView detects an issue with your video stream, click the troubleshoot streaming link on screen for troubleshooting support to resolve the issue before clicking test video stream again. Once you can see yourself in the video stream, click yes, then click next to continue. The check-in process is now completed. You will be placed into a queue while your submitted details and photographs are verified ahead of your exam launching. Your exam will be launched by the greeter. If there are any problems with your photos, the greeter will contact you. Before your exam is launched, you'll receive this message. This step can take up to two minutes to load, depending on your device. If there's a problem with launching your exam, you'll need to close on view and reopen it from your downloads folder. Please ensure you close all applications except on view and disconnect from any VPNs before attempting to launch your exam again. Only click end exam once your exam time has ended. Remember to review your answers before you end your exam. Watch our check your exam has been submitted video should you wish to check your answers have been sent to ACCA. All results will be sent to us 72 hours after your exam has ended. Good luck with your remote session exam.